We are standing on Government Street, right next door to Barton Academy, which was the first public school built in the state of Alabama. Construction began in 1835 and was finished in 1836. And this is an asset that I swing the camera that Mobile has underused in the last uh, few decades. Uh, it served as a school from the 1800s and up until I, built, I believe the 1960s before it was closed. The Mobile County Public School System then used it as its central office and it's served in that capacity until the uh, 2000s and they then bought a piece of property in West Mobile and closed this building down and it has remained empty ever since. It's a nice big <coughs> space. Um, there's plans of putting another school in here for six through K or six through 12 for kids whose parents work for international companies here in downtown Mobile. And I'm not a big fan of that idea. Uh, one of the things that has gotten me so interested in seeing downtown Mobile uh, revived is having traveled to other southern cities and in each of those cities they had a college, a liberal arts college, a performing arts college that um, put uh, brought young blood from out of the uh, community, from out of the state, and in some cases from out of the region to town. And they are living uh, in the downtown area near the college, and that's one of the things that Mobile needs more uh, young people who were here going to work, going to school, and living in the downtown area. Um, given that we have the assets of the Sanger Theater and Space 301 as an art gallery and several music venues, um, to me it only makes sense that uh, we find a space whether it's Barton Academy or starting out somewhere more hum in a humble setting and start a college that uh, really draws on people's talents and less about their um, capacity to pass uh, tests. Um, I think America is um, either going to go away as every other prior empire has, or we're going to have a rebirth, a renaissance, and that renaissance will be of art and literature and music and philosophy uh, and not of capitalism, not of banking. Th that uh, two systems have run their course in America, they're, they're both bankrupt. So America is trying to find its way right now. The city of Mobile is trying to find its way. While it has these new industries that have come to town over the past decade, and Airbus is coming too, um, we need more than just industry. We need something that um, really taps into people's heart and soul, things that uh, move people, whether it's uh, great 
art, whether it's great literature, great music. And so um, something like um, a, a school, a graduate school at a, a collegiate level, uh, I think is necessary uh, for Mobile to, um, to take off. And um, I've seen it in Charleston, with the College of Charleston, with um, St. Augustine Flagler College, and Savannah with SCAD. And Mobile needs a, this same uh, uh, academic uh, setting institution in downtown Mobile. We have three, uh, two universities and one college, whether they want to participate in, in making something like that uh, take off is to be seen. But um, without a college in downtown Mobile, um, there's just not enough uh, housing for families and with kids. Um, there's plenty of empty buildings, plenty of uh, room for uh, dorms, for apartments, for condos, uh, for single people, for young people, but um, there's some limitations to how many families can and will live downtown. We're here at the uh, Sanger Theater, which is on Joachim Street, just off of Dolphin Street. And it's one of three theaters the Sanger family built. Uh, the other two, one's in New Orleans and one's in Pensacola. Uh, built probably around 1910. Used for um, live theater, for music, musicals, symphonies. Today it's uh, continued to be used for uh, musicals and symphonies and maybe some live theater. Uh, not sure how well it's used as one of Mobile's assets. Uh, they've had trouble making money using it in recent years. However, I did mention uh, that if Mobile were to have a college downtown, some sort of performing arts college that uh, where music is offered or theater or, or dance, that the Sanger would be a nice asset that's already built that that college could use. So, I also think, um, you know, one of the things Mobile's missing in downtown, besides tourists, is a reason to come to downtown in a large uh, scale uh, by the millions, and that's that there's a, a world-class venue, whether it's um, the Sanger Theater, which is a building, and it's housing some sort of uh, uh, the, uh, theatrical troupe that's uh, permanently housed here, that um, you know, gives something to the community, as well as gives uh, people a reason to come to Mobile, maybe they live in Baton Rouge or New Orleans or M Montgomery, Birmingham, Atlanta, and they uh, hear about this uh, production company, this theater group, and uh, they want to see it for themselves. So having a world-class venue is uh, very important for Mobile to ever have some sort of uh, serious tourism uh, base. Uh, every city has one, two, or more than two. And, um, and if they um, uh, have old ones, they're uh, building new ones. Atlanta's always building new uh, exhibits and, and venues to uh, bring tourists to their airport and up into the city for the summer or year round. So anyway, that's uh, to me what's really lacking. And I'm not sure the Sanger's gonna solve that, fix that problem, but it certainly 
something worth looking at. We're at the uh, corner of South Washington and Dolphin Street, and uh, this is one of the uh, latest restaurants to open in what had been a vacant building for quite some time. It's a popular barbecue chain out of Colorado. On this side of the street is a couple other restaurants that are popular with the locals and have been open for a decade maybe. It's uh, right uh, at lunchtime, I guess after 11 o'clock, and you don't see much uh, sideway, sidewalk traffic. And this is uh, lost revenue, lost tax dollars for the hotels, for the city to collect, uh, restaurants, uh, all sorts of uh, museums, and of course we need more retail to come back down here, but there's no incentive at this point. All right, uh, I'm at the uh, Crescent Theater, which is located at 208 Dolphin Street. And it's been open for about five, uh, five, six, seven years. And it is a uh, landmark, soon to be famous place to uh, come to Mobile. And while you're in town, maybe staying downtown or you're just uh, having dinner on Dolphin Street or around the corner to come watch a film at the Crescent Theater. Uh, the proprietor is Max Mori. And most of the films that Max picks are independent films. Many of them are nonfiction. And and of those that play here at this playhouse, many of them have already won awards at film festivals around the country, around the world, and ultimately many of them are nominated for Oscars uh, for the Academy Awards that happened in the uh, early spring. So they're great films. And more importantly, they're soulful films. And that's one of the issues that Mobiles really has a problem with. There just seems to be no soul in this uh, town that I can find, no sense of uh, where the heartbeat is, where the epicenter of the city is. And what Ma Max is doing in the films that he selects are just, uh, can be tear jerkers, can be very uh, emotional uh, stories that some film director, often with no money, uh, puts together and produces. And, uh, you know, they're just compelling stories that people need to see and hear. And that's what I've always gotten from the films that Max has selected at the Crescent Theater. It's, uh, it's, it's a theater that's never made any money in Mobile, and, um, and I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of the uh, best kept secret, and it's to its own detriment. It really, uh, the word needs to be gotten out that this place is really uh, something that needs to be saved and cherished and, uh, you know, that too many people who um, either don't go see movies at all or they go see the big blockbusters that, you know, are all about making hundreds of millions of dollars and soulless in their nature, uh, attend those or, or people that just have no desire to be inspired. And I say that of our own uh, political officials, our new mayor, Mayor Stimson, he, 
He's been given tickets to come to this theater and he won't come, free tickets. Uh, I don't think the city council's been down here. I could be wrong about that. But there are those on uh, Dolphin Street who do get what uh, the Crescent's about. Um, the stories of people who go stay at hotels in here on business and, um, and they find out about the Crescent. Um, they keep coming back when they come to Mobile and they're staying in a hotel downtown. So um, I hope uh, if you've never tried the Crescent, you will, um, you will come down here and give it a shot. That was um, Max just walking out of the front door. <laughs> so uh, anyway, with that, we will end it.